Welcome to Nico Props. I'm Chris Fry, and on today's video, we're going to be covering the Benny 4 RGB by Nova 3D. Now, remember, if you get value from this video, subscribe, like, hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on future videos. I'd like to clarify before we go for any further that I've bought this machine myself. I'm not being sponsored or paid for this um, review. Um, and with that in mind, let's move forward. Um, so this printer, the basic features, uh, it's got Wi-Fi. Uh, it's not great at handling uh, mesh networks, I've got to be honest. Um, you end up with every mesh device showing up uh, and you have to pick the closest one. And it's not a problem, but it, it's, it's annoying. It's got USB in the back. Um, it also comes with a four gig USB stick, which is very handy. And it also has LAN. Got a 4.5 inch touchscreen for, uh, for, um, for the settings and stuff. Eight gig internal storage. Um, the build platform itself, uh, although on this one, and it's got a hinge lid. Uh, and on this one, I've got a ball jointed one. The, 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 the versions coming, uh, coming out now, the, the, the current versions, have the same one as the mono. Um, there's gonna be a video about the mono, so check that out. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, and it's got the same build platform. So that's been updated compared to my one. My one's a, an earlier machine. Um, so, yeah. Um, the resin vat here has feet on the bottom. It's milled out of alum aluminium, but it's got feet. So it keeps it up off the table. So when you put it down uh, and you don't end up scraping the FEP film. <laughs> Um, other features, the build volume of this machine is uh, 130 by 70 by 150 millimeters. Not a bad size for the, for the cost of the machine. Uh, quite, quite large actually for the low end machines really. It's got a 2K uh, RGB screen in it to uh, expose to the resin. The screen life is about 800 hours-ish uh, of use. And uh, the UV light in there actually has an intensity of 1700 microwatts per centimeter. I did a, a test print on this as well. Um, I printed out the demon skull. We'll have a look at the, uh, the, uh, the time lapse for that now. Um, and I got this demon skull from my manufacturer. I figured, you know, Halloween's coming up, it'd be cool. Link in the description below for that as well. And this got printed on this RGB machine and it took about five hours and 52 minutes using uh, Nova 3D standard gray resin. So software wise, it comes with Nova Maker. Uh, Nova Maker is Nova 3D's own slicing program. Um, to be honest, it's, it's not particularly feature rich, it is a very basic slicer, but the RGB will work with Chai2 Box as long as you have the Nova 3D plugin installed to save out the files. Both of these um, will be linked in the description below. Um, wi Fi wasn't used for this test. Uh, I used the USB and then transferred it to the local drive so there wasn't any lag. Uh, extra stuff you may need. If you're going to be buying this as a new printer, I mean, you're probably going to need a lot of paper towels. Um, if it's your first printer and you don't know much about resin printing, lots and lots of paper towels, get yourself a Costco membership. You're going to need it. Uh, next thing, nitrile gloves. Make sure you're wearing these. I, um, I recently handled uh, resin and got a bad reaction from it. So make sure you're wearing the gloves. You'll need some isopropyl alcohol. This printer comes with a little spray bottle but not the isopropyl alcohol, but that's what's in here, is isopropyl alcohol. This is for cleaning up the prints and cleaning your printer and everything else. Um, also worth getting is a little funnel and uh, a mesh filter for filtering your resin back into the bottles. I'm gonna put links to all of this in the description below. Okay, so my thoughts on this printer generally, um, Priced currently at the time of filming on Amazon, £329. Uh, as per some of the other videos, the, this machine is currently out of stock in the US. So it's not unavailable, it's just out of stock. Um, so it's a popular printer. Uh, I did speak to Nova 3D. They have told me that they have more on the way and they're gonna be there very soon. So keep checking back to those links. Uh, and there are Amazon links as well. So they're gonna help me out and help me make more videos and stuff like that. So, um, 
They also have a mono version of this. Nova 3 have produced a mono version. It's supposed to be 33% faster um, than the RGB is, is um, which you can check out the video on the mono uh, in the, the boxes here. Um, make sure you've liked the video, you've subscribed, and you pop a comment and let me know how you're gonna wanna be using your resin 3D printing. Um, it'd be good to have a little conversation about that in the comments below. Uh, check out my other videos as well. Uh, there's gonna be chances to win in those. And there's also gonna be a raced video, um, this one against the mono to see which one's faster and see if we can check if that 33% is actually what they said. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.